Hi! So, I decided to take my uh, Steward Tank Destroyer M8A1 for a ride to help my friend Lion to uh, green this uh, uh, the new German Tank Destroyer line and lucky we, we got into a tier 6 battle. It's not the ideal setup, but uh, well, <laughs> we are gonna try to do the best we can with it. I am using the 75mm gun on the M on the M8A1 because uh, the 57mm, even though it's supposed to be better, and well, it is better bec simply because it penetrates more. With the APCR, it penetrates 180. But it has too little shells, and at least with the 57, it, it also doesn't have too many shells, but but it deals uh, more damage. So right now we are just uh, fooling around, standing in a stupid spot, waiting for something to pop up. Like I if the enemy gave one S was to pop up there, it would take one shot and kill all three of us with one shot, but anyway. Uh, you're gonna see the T1 Heavy, the M6, and I think, I think, another KV1. Oh, here it is. Oh, there it goes, KV1. Yeah, they are all gonna go there, but they are not gonna rely on us at all. Not, not even one little bit. It's like uh, we are here, but they are. They don't r give a fuck about us. Ah, it's a normal what player fucking idiot. He goes into that position and he uh, spams for help when all he needs to do to get some help is uh, to fall back. If they fall back we'll be able to shoot them otherwise we won't. Uh, but yeah, whatever. So there comes the mighty give you one S. Dangerous foe. Fortunately he's just a 46% He's quite harmless in a certain way. <laughs> oh, there it goes. One less M6 because he's, he doesn't let the enemy pick so we can provide. He doesn't place him themselves in a position where for the enemy to shoot them, uh, they are forced to get shot by us. Ah, anyway. I didn't really knew what to do in this battle. It's a tier six battle, so I just camp and attempt to do. Now you see the the regular shells on this gun only penetrate one or one millimeters. They even bounce on the side of the VK. It does penetrate the side, but uh, there's uh, still a chance it might bounce. Okay, one just got really lucky. Oh, the track, nice. I think VK36 has 80. There you go. 80mm on side armor. Something like that. Maybe it's, it's, it's I don't know. Uh, but this tank uh, kind of requires a lot of APCR. You're gonna see they are gonna be quite useful. This, this tank is really good for a tier 4 uh, tank destroyer. It's, it's really nice. I have rammer, uh, binoculars, and camo. really fast and can kill stuff really fast too. Now, at this moment I spotted an 88 alone! <laughs> so, it's like, oh my god, if I get on his back, he doesn't stand a fucking chance. And he seems to be uh, isolated, he seems to be alone, so I load APCR because regular shells are not going to penetrate even on his ass because uh, he has 100mm uh, of armor in his ass. And now, he doesn't stand a chance, just spamming APCR on his ass. I am not sure if the regular AP shells would penetrate the commander's cupola, but at this time I was actually just trying to fucking set him on fire. And then I load some AP shells, uh, and then I look, aim around and it's all yellow, even the commander's cupola. Yeah, no fucking chance. So, more APCR on his ass. Poor, uh, poor 88. He, he could have 
uh, try to back up against something and force me into a side, but uh, uh, you would have done anyway, probably. Now I use my super speed to go back to and help my platoon mate who is uh, trying to kill a KVNS with a Mar 38T. Four tier six to kill. Well, look at that. You can see my it's not looking good. Now the KV1S, just like a good 46% player, comes down because he's about he's gonna flank the Panzer at 3 4 because you know he, he needs to flank it, right? See, the first shell, it was a regular shell on his turret, on the back of his turret, kinda bounced. God. Yeah, I give one S is not overpowered at all. I mean, pff, it's a perfectly balanced tier 6 tank. Uh, it should be a fucking tier 7 premium tank. The actual, the this version of KV1 S is it's a KV1 22. It should be a tier 7 premium tank. They should do with it the same thing they did with, um, with Panzer IV. Which, uh, with a small Schmalturm, Schmalturm, yes, that's it. And the 75L70 was just too good for tier 5. It's quite more uh, well placed at tier 6 now. Although a bit underpowered, could use a better engine, but anyway. At this point, I'm gonna get start uh, getting shot by RT. And I was like, mm, what the fuck? The RT is spotting me. It's actually a Nashorn, which I suspected. Uh, he's spotting me from K0 with, uh, with his fucking awesome view range. I'm just attempting to use my binoculars to spot something. It's not working too, so well. There goes the Panzer 3 4. Uh, it's interesting. The Nashorn is spotting them. He surely spotted them, but he didn't shoot. Just waited for the Arty to kill him. Quite interesting. Well, not interesting. It's not there goes another shot by the fucking Arty. At this moment, I decide I'm gonna rush and my platoon mate will uh, will shoot them when I, when I spot them. That's what I'm gonna do. So far I got 1000 damage. Not bad, not bad at all. 44, take this through. There I go, my super speed. And there it is. So I load some HE because uh, you can penetrate the Nazorn really well. Now at this moment my, my platoon mate is engaging him, but the fool, because he's a fool, allowed himself to get killed. Uh, really. He's a, he's a noob, but I, I like him, he's a good guy. So I platoon with him from time to time. Ooh, he almost hit me, my god. So now this is, a, this is tricky because I don't have enough compression and he can kill me with one shot. He really can because he deals up to 300 damage with that gun. I'm shooting HC, but the, sh the shots, I wasn't... Not two shots with the... That didn't penetrate. Now I aim properly. Bang. See, the, yeah, two shots on the gun shield. That didn't penetrate for some reason. I think it's, it was because it, there was simply too much angle. Yeah, HG for those buggers is it's fucking awesome. It usually, I would say, 80% of the time penetrates. Now I have another HG because both the targets, it's my last HG, both of the targets that are remaining can be penetrated with HE. Boom, 181. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna shoot me and he shoots me. There goes my gun. It's all good. He didn't, uh, he didn't uh, choose a good position. Uh, allowing me to engage him at close range was a mistake.
And now the RT bear scan is actually quite nice because it has a fully rotating turret. Shoots really fast. That's it. Almost 2000 damage, 5 kills, and that's your 4 tank destroyer, that's your 6 battle. Yeah, if you, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching. See ya.